was like, how many chimps are there? Let's take a guess. How many chimps are there in the world? 100,000? It's probably a good number. With all the zoos, it might be a little higher. Yeah. I'm going to say 250. 250,000 chimps worldwide. There's probably not even an answer to this question. Yet. I guess, <laughs> you guys are right. It are says, we right? It says between 170,000 and 300,000 chimps currently living. Damn, in the son, wild. fucking nailed it. It says wild, though. In the wild. Zoos. In the wild. And then zoos probably jacks it up a little bit. How many, how many chimps do you think are in zoos worldwide? Let's take that guess. Hmm. 50,000? 20,000. Hmm. There's a lot of countries. Yeah. Hundreds of countries. But each zoo probably has Ooh. what? This is a dark, dark, dark question. Okay. Um, before we find the I darkness, want I do want to know. Let's, uh, no. well, but I do want to know. Hold on a second. Let's just guess. Okay. This zoo, every state. I'm going to say 50,000. <laughs> James making noises over there. I'm way it's off. A, okay. it's, a, it's a very low number, and there's a reason why. Oh. Okay. Okay, I may stick with my 20,000. Okay, what's the number? About 300. What? what? In all the zoos in the world? The be... remaining 1,700 were bred for inhumane medical research. Oh. They don't all go to zoos. <sighs> like the movie 28 Days Later, <laughs> right? <laughs> when they give them that rage mm -hmm. shit and they break out. Mm -hmm. Zombie apocalypse. Tell me they wouldn't do that. Like before COVID... Nobody thought like, well, this is a fun, you know, fun premise for a movie. This could never happen. Yeah, I don't know how many. Are, uh, as of 2015, this article says more than 730 remain in government or private research facilities. Some 540, I, I believe, have were released at this at this time. Hmm. This also says uh, this seems a lot. really low, though. <sighs> What's the option? If you're not going to use chimps, what do you use? Horrible people. Yes, Mass prisoners, murders, prisoners. prisoners. Yeah, why aren't they? School shooters. Mm -hmm. Do you think people would, would sign off on that? You know what's interesting? They probably wouldn't. They'd probably say, no, you can kill them, but you can't practice medicine on them. I wonder. You can't put lipstick in their eyeballs and see what the root, <laughs> you know, the, the shit they do with rabbits and stuff. Yeah, but if you say to somebody and go, hey, instead of using animals for testing, this person that is on death row, would you rather have that than killing an animal? What, if you give them the option? Yeah. Man, that's a fucked up option. I wonder. I bet, I bet people would say the prisoner on death row. Well, the problem is, like, the justice system sucks. And there's a lot of people that are on death row that are 100% innocent. That's a fact. And so, like, a lot of people think the death penalty in itself is inhumane and that in fact the woman who's the governor of oregon she just commuted i believe of 17 people that were on death row and it if one of those is innocent i support it you know it's the most fucked up thing ever if like someone killed your loved one and and they're on death row but what if they didn't and what if they're accused of it and then they wind up getting killed i mean it's like the system is so bad and through the podcast that i've done with josh dubin who uh, he used to work with the Innocence Project. Now he does a, a lot of different programs along the same lines, though, where it's like he's trying to get people out of jail that are clearly innocent. And prosecutors, man, there's a lot of good ones out there. There's a lot of good people that are prosecutors, no doubt. But there's also prosecutors that hide evidence. They um, they withhold evidence that would exonerate people. They prosecute people they know are innocent. They railroad people. They keep people from being able to bring th certain things up in, in trials. And, you know, you find out later that they knew all along. They just, they had this guy, he was in the system, he was being tried, and they never want to say, hey, we fucked up. So instead of saying, hey, we fucked up, they hide all the evidence that they fucked up. It's not all, again, it's not all prosecutors, but it's enough that the death penalty itself is very questionable. I found, I'm digging through this. In 1979, I found a, what is this, from a, um, an article in Corrections Magazine, it says, that... Uh, 85% a few years ago 85% of all drug testing was done in prisons now it's down to 15% all drug it's, testing as of right now it's illegal in California and plenty of other places too the drug test people in prison correct they, it's also illegal to ask them if they have a penis <laughs> right <laughs> Which is a little strange. A little strange. I mean, uh, I'm all for people being able to express themselves and live however they want. However, 
there was a story that I was reading. I think I sent you this too, Jamie, um, about this article that was talking about this woman that um, brutally murdered and raped this woman and about how how unusual it is for a woman to brutally rape and murder another woman. Well, it turns out it's not a woman. It's a trans woman. But they have to call it a woman. So they're saying it's a woman. Like So there's people that are phrasing it in this woke speak. If you want to define what, you know, like, what do you, because woke is hard to find. People know, kind of know what it is. Like, oh, I fucking hate all this woke shit. But what do you, what does that mean? Like, what are you saying? And when you ask people to define it, it does get a little squirrely. It's like, oh, I didn't think about defining this. It's just sort of a thing that I know. And one of the things has to do with gender. Because that, that was one of, that's one of the biggest cultural changes over the last 10 years. But that one is bananas, that they would phrase it that way. That they would say, a woman. No, it was his ex. That was his ex girlfriend that he killed, that he murdered and raped. Right. He he was a, a man at the time. He was dating her. Like to say, oh, it's so unusual for a woman to do that. It's like, what kind of game are we playing? Were you talking about crime? And like that person that went to uh, jail and uh, said he was a woman and started banging all the, the inmates and got two of them pregnant. That person brutally murdered his mother with a knife it's a horrible story the, the 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 cops that came to the scene said it was one of the most horrific things they had ever seen stabbed her from her face down to her fuck the bottom of her legs just you know an incalculable number of stab wounds probably but you could say you're a woman and all of a sudden you're in a woman's prison and then there's like all these people that like have created a website like get her out she's she's not supposed to be there let her express the gender of her you know preference and like this is bananas like you, you guys are out of your fucking mind there has to be a birth sex on your uh, future ID so you have your sex female and then your birth sex like a male or something like that well that would make sense but none of this makes sense right. they would say who is the doctor to tell you what your sex is <laughs> well, it used to be just gender, but now right. they're, they're equating sex and gender, right? Like, so when that Rachel Levine person became the first female admiral, they were saying, they were, they were saying female. They weren't just saying woman. They were saying female, as in, like, like this, this X, X distinction in the chromosomes. Like, listen, I know it's good to be kind to people. It's good to be nice. It's good to, like, I want you to be whoever you want to be, express yourself however. I love you. But what are we doing? 